welcome back to my channel. My name is Charmaine and today I want to do a first impressions, at least my first impressions on some Beauty Bakery products. I've never tried Beauty Bakery before so I decided to get some. Um, this past week I placed an order at Ulta and I decided to just go ahead and try because I've been looking at the products for a while. So this will be my first impressions. None of these products are new other than I think that the sugar cookies palette just came out. So I am going to use this sugar cookies palette. And this is what this is looking like. Um, I did get the Ulta had this set. So it came with the baking powder, the sponge, and the setting spray. So I'm going to be using that. And then I did get the Insta Bake foundation I got the color 323 W um, and I pick my foundation based off of a website it is called um, and this is what this looks like the website is called foundation.com I will list it on the screen below and then I will list it down in the detail section but I am going to use this I don't know if this this is so cute this packaging I don't know if this color is going to match but we're going to find out um, this is the baking powder, so it looks like a little flower. So we're going to be using this. And this is really why I wanted to get it, is just because I am a sucker for the packaging. So we're going to be testing this out. So this is the, the powder, and I got the color Casanova, or Cassava. It's Cassava Yellow. And I, I don't like to keep this tray in here I take it out so let me see if I can take it out without breaking a nail okay got it open so that's open and ready um it did come with like a little gift and here's like a travel size of the setting powder so this is really cute and I'm going to use this So this was one of the gifts. There's actually one more gift that it came with. I need to find it. And that was a liquid lip. So this is like the little baking powder. for. Oh, this is so cute for travel. So I will save that. Let me find the, the liquid lip. Okay, I found the liquid lip. This is in the color On The Rocks. So I'm going to try this color. So just to kind of go back, I have a palette, the foundation, setting powder, setting spray, and a liquid lip along with the sponge. Here's the sponge that I'm going to try. So here's this. So first we're going to we're going to get into the eyes and we're going to see what this pigmentation is looking like in the sugar cookies palette. I have an idea. Well, I know what colors I want to use. Um, so I just we'll get started there. So stay tuned okay so again here's the sugar cookies palette and we are going to be going in with obviously this color would be too light for me to use I would I don't know then this is Holly um I don't know when I would use this color we'll see maybe at some point but I'm going to probably I'm planning to use dip baby dip which is this color and then I'm going to go in with just one more and then I'm probably going to take Crumb Evidence. We shall see. I might just stick with these two, but if I want to deepen up the outer corner here, I'll use this. So let's go into Dip Baby Dip and start packing that into our crease. Oh, wow. Okay. So I like the, the pigmentation is good. Now that I have that on, I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. I think I'm a bit heavy handed, um, but this is like really pigmented. I'm going to go in I'm not going to cut my crease with the uh, with my white crease cut like I usually do I'm just going to go in and put on and just to see what the pigmentation is looking like 
just one more so that's this color here I'm gonna first take it on this brush and see what it looks like and then I'm gonna try um, this brush and I'm gonna also wet it and see if that comes out Now let's take it on this brush and see if it picks up any more. shows up a little bit more now I'm going to just take it on the brush and then spray the brush I have my Mario Badescu and lavender here so spray the brush and then we're going to tap that and see this is a really nice color I'm going to go back into Dip Baby Dip. I just did two taps in there. And like, see how much color comes out just from two little taps? And they're very light tabs. I'm just going to take this on my outer edge and then softly bring that in. I don't think I'm going to go into the deep brown. I think I'm just going to leave the look like this. Am I? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm just gonna do a, just a basic. You see, I took the wig off. I just have my hair in a ponytail, letting it breathe. Feels good. I washed it and scrubbed my scalp last night, so. Okay, now I don't have, um, I don't have an eyeliner. I don't know if they had an eyeliner. Eventually, if I like the products today, then I would go back and get more, but let me get an eyeliner. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I'm going to do uh, the mascara and I'm just going to probably use my essence. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back. I am back. So I ended up using the Glam Light Calligrapher Eyeliner. Um, and then I use this Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's waterproof for my mascara. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on some primer. So I'm using the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. Oh, here it is. Here's my favorite one. It's the e.l.f. Oops. The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. That's the one I want to use. I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. And then I just saw it right now. So it is almost gone. So we're going to use this. Okay. And we're gonna try this Insta Bake. Um, now, I did not get any concealer, so I'm gonna have to go in with my regular concealers. And I think I'm just going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Concealers. I'm using the color 365 Cashew and 375 Latte. So, okay, so we're going to use those. But first, let's get into this. I'm going to shake it up and put it on my... Oh, it looks a little bit watery. So let's take it on the butt of the sponge. Okay, hopefully this color does match. Um, I use foundation.com and I've used it for several other uh, foundations that I've ordered online because most of the time, all the time I'm ordering online. So, and it worked 
so we shall see. putting an extra layer over my cheeks where I have my problem areas because of my dark spots so I mean so far I like the foundation it doesn't feel heavy it feels lightweight I don't even feel like I have it on um, so I think it looks good we'll go ahead and put the concealer on and see how well it does with my concealer so first I'm going in and I like to double up on my concealer you don't have to but I do and this is uh, 375 lock hair And I just threw cashew on top um, in the eye area. I'm dropping everything today. Oops, see? Whew, it's going to be one of those days. Now I'm going to blend it out. Letting it sit under my eyes a little longer while I go in and do my contour. So let's go in with only do it in those areas. I'm going to take my other sponge I have two sponges here just in case I did not like the Beauty Bakery one so it was already here and wet and prepared um, but I do like the Beauty Bakery one I just prefer um, I think this, this is a Real Techniques one just because it has like this flat edge and then it has the round edge um, this one is just round, so I don't usually buy the ones like this. I usually like to get um, like the Real Techniques. So we'll go ahead and blend out our under eye concealer. This looks really bright. I may use this this feels better for me to use the flat end to kind of pat it out. I do like to at the beginning go in with the round end that has like the corner when I'm first patting it out but to complete 
blending it in, I prefer to use the flat part of the sponge. So this is much easier for me. Sharpen that up. Okay. So I think that looks good. I like it. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to set everywhere that we put the concealer and I'm going to use the uh, Beauty Bakery Cassava, so we will see. It's very fine. That blended in really nice and easy. The only thing is, I think that this is the full size powder. This isn't very much. And I think it was, I bought the set. So I feel like alone, this powder might be, I don't know, is it $20? That's the only thing is for this amount because I'm used to, you know, my Black Radiance, which you get a lot for your money in that. And I think that was only about six or seven dollars. And then the Airspun, which is about five dollars, and those containers are pretty big. So I don't have a cold. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm sniffling. I just, just ignore it. But. Yeah, this powder is like really, really fine. I definitely like it. So, I mean, this, I would say this could be worth uh, the money. Okay, now for the um, powder foundation, I'm just gonna use my regular powder foundation. Let's just use the Too Faced powder foundation with this. So, I'm in the color warm sand and we're just going to use that now when it comes to back to the setting powder when it comes to if I like it over the air spun I definitely think that I do like it over the air spun it's just going to be costlier to you know replace but actually I think that it might be worth it I have to see if they have, um, I think that they do have several colors. I don't know what the next sh shade is, like shade up for the setting powder would be, but I would probably want to check that out and see. I mean, this is fine, but. Okay, so I have my powder. Let's go in with, what haven't I used in a while? Let's use my BH Cosmetics um, Studio Pro Contour Palette. So it looks like this. And as you can see by like what the parts that are dirty, I use basically these colors here and I just mix them. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna go in with these two. Just pressing it on lightly right now. Okay, I'm going to do more because I definitely like to warm up my skin. I just don't like a really heavy contour, but when I'm looking at, you know, my pictures and my videos when it's done, it's like I'm so light with it. It's almost like it's not there. And I don't like that either. So, I'm going to try to have it a little bit deeper today. And see, here I go, probably over blending it so then it won't show, but I also don't want it to be like too much. Okay, so I'm just getting... Um, a brush to do my nose contour 
Okay, I need new brushes. That's the one thing I do feel like I need. Probably don't need any more makeup, but I need to be spending my money on getting more brushes or new brushes. I have a lot of brushes already. I just need new ones. Okay. All right, got my nails done. Sometimes I like to just go in the crease here. All right, nose looking good. And let's do, I need to do blush. So let me get blush. All right, trying to use stuff that I haven't used yet. So we're gonna use a Profusion Blush 2 palette. Looks like this. And I'm going to go in with, these are shimmer shades. So this one, this one, and this one have a sheen to it. And so does this one. So I'm going to put, I'm probably gonna mix this with one of these on top to kind of lighten it up. So let's go in with Love Joy. So this one. And be very soft with that. This is another thing like when I put my blush on, I always blend it back out. So it's almost like also it's not there. So I do that with my blush and my contour. See how I just don't want it looking like this. So I end up patting it out. So this is, now we're gonna just take, let's take pink, no wait, this is Pink Star and this is Smitten. I'm gonna take Smitten over top. Don't worry, it's not gonna be looking like this. Okay, so let's say you overdid it with the blush. This is how you fix that problem. You just take your foundation powder brush and you can just pat it out. Okay, see? See the difference? So I'm gonna do that to the side as well. Okay, so that is done. That's good. I can still see the color, but it's not too much. We're going to do our under eye. Well, I'm going to do my under eye. And let's see. We're going to use, um, do I want to do a brown? I'm just going to use this color, and then I'm going to add a little brown to the outer edge. Um, so far, I like everything that I've tried. I still have the liquid lip to try and the setting spray. And that would be it. I do want to eventually try. Let's swatch this color. I'm going to go ahead and swatch. And let's swatch this one because either shimmers. So I'm uh, swatching stack your chips and then even exchange. Those are really pretty. I like to swatch the, the shimmer shades and then let's swatch milk bar up here. That's pretty. And we'll swatch um, cookie shots and cookie jar. So their colors are really pigmented. Well, I only have two colors that I haven't tried yet, so I may as well. So we'll swatch now Crumb, Evidence, and then Hollyum. I think that's what that says. Let's swatch them here. Okay. These colors, like the browns and like this color would be like the basic colors, but these are the, the colors I really like that I want to use at some point. So we'll have to see what kind of look we can come up with to use those. But I mean, the palette's very, very nice. The colors are pigmented. So it's definitely worth the buy. I like the variety of colors. There's a pop of color in here, 
you can still do a neutral look uh you know a pop of a look with a pop of colors some shimmers some mattes this is like the perfect palette all right so now let's get into the setting spray so here it is the prayer of a sweet lover okay it says now i lay now I lay my brush to beat. I pray this sleigh is one to keep. I put my trust in you, Grace, to help me keep my cake face. And then hashtag pray then slay. That's cute. And then it says oven fresh, established 2011. So that's nice too. Let's see how it comes out. Okay. I don't really smell like a smell smell. But there's like definitely a smell. I wish it was more like a cookie smell since it's like a, I don't know. It doesn't smell like much of anything to me. It has a smell. I just don't know what it is, but it doesn't smell like anything, like any food. Um, and it kind of, it comes out like the continuous setting mist from Morphe, but it definitely, you can feel like there's more coming out, which doesn't bother me. Um, so I would say I like it and it's a little bit feels a little bit heavier like the here's the Morphe it's like lightweight and this feels a little bit heavier so this says 2.8 ounces and this is 3.4 ounces so this is holding more hmm. all right so let's get into doing our lips so that way we can try the liquid lip. Um, I just need to get a lip liner. So one second. Okay. So for the liquid or for the lip liner, I'm going to use the Jordana easy liner and baby berry. Okay. It's been a while since I purchased anything for, from Jordana cosmetics. So I feel like I might need to place an order just to get more of their uh, lip liners because I like that they're retractable so now we're going to use on the rocks and this was a, a mini because it came with the set as like a gift with the mini uh, baking powder it feels like nice and smooth none of the products have like a food smell even though they're based on food items. That would have been nice if they smelled like, you know, food, but that's okay. All right, so my face is basically done. I just wanna kinda go back in and kinda pat everything down now that I've set it, just to make sure it blends in and looks like skin. Okay, so my overall thoughts, um, I actually like this line. I don't know why it took me so long to try it, but it's definitely worth, you know, the money. I do plan to go back on there and see what else they have and start stocking up and creating a beauty bakery drawer. So stay tuned because I'm sure I'll be using more of their products in the near future. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Make sure before you go, you like the video, you comment down below, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Oh, Merry Christmas!